on video because of uh, social distancing right now. Yeah, but yeah. you've given presentations live quite a bit in the past. Oh, yes. I, and uh, part of this, and when this is all over with, it, it, this isn't a substitute for it by any means. No. It's, but it's, it's a good start to be yeah. able to have this for somebody that wants, uh, I don't, I'm not computer literate, I don't think so much, but I can probably zoom uh, merit badge health. Uh -huh. uh, but as part of a collecting merit badge or an American heritage, scouting, scouting heritage, heritage for me, yeah. that would be all, if, if somebody would want a presentation on the Eagle Award. This is definitely- Or on merit badges, there you go. This collection, Mr. Hankey, is a labor of love. I. Uh, uh, you were telling me earlier how you were able to afford buying all of these badges. Well, that's my dear late wife said, don't you dare touch the house account to acquire in there to rescue any of those awards. You do it on your own. So in that, in that process, uh, I was saving uh, money in a soccer account, a referee soccer all my soccer fees instead of it being well, I just made 40 bucks doing a game it wasn't 40 bucks it was a Robbins type 4 <laughs> I was able to buy a Robbins type 4 so in a in a normal weekend well I could I could make four Eagle Awards so I did a lot of I did a lot of uh, if you look at these awards that's how much soccer I did that is fantastic <laughs> More or less. Some of these awards were a little more valuable than a soccer game. A couple of soccer games. A couple of soccer games. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing us this. This is incredible, and it's got to be one of the most extensive Eagle collections. Uh, well, uh, the the board is actually everything that's laid out here. We'll even get into that. Everything laid out here is secured. So there's the only thing that I have that's uh, that's displayed would be this board. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything else is locked up and uh, secured. So that is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Very and I, much. I only bring them out uh, to show. That's great. As a, a project. Most of us have, on and off, you know, the Eagle Award. Because there is a chance that that young man maybe earned this award, or this, or this. Wow. In that, from being a tenderfoot four years later in the 1920s, this guy may have been an Eagle Scout. He could have been, yeah. Yeah. Since there weren't that many. was another jewelry maker. So we had Foley and we had Diegas and Clust and we had Robbins. And then right in here, these awards belong superimposed across here because you have the Robbins one, the Robbins two, the Robbins three, the Robbins four, and then you had a Robbins five. That's the last Robbins. Overlapping the Robbins five, the new, new guy came in, the Stang Company, that started in 1968. They won the bid to make the Eagle Awards in 1968. Mm -hmm. We still had Robbins Type 5s that were awarded. But we're losing our merit bed sashes, but that's okay. <laughs> Just another... It's blowing around a little another bit. Another balmy uh, spring day in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So you, you have right here the remainder of 
what was in planned in production from the Robbins company, all sterling silver, but in varieties of configurations. The awards uh, it could have no hallmarking on it, mm -hmm. or I think I think the uh, government quit harassing <laughs> scouts or the the Robbins company because some had. I think we're up to uh, P9, P8, and P9. Pendant nine. Uh, pe yeah, the uh, or whatever this is. Um, yeah, they're all up and down. Stir R, Stir R. This has nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's on the backs. I think I made the. I had these for. This is proper. This is a silver and a bronze and a gold palm. Mm -hmm. So that would be 15 and 10. This guy earned. 25 beyond. So he earned 46 merit patches, wow. this guy. This guy would be, uh, that's improper. He should have had a silver. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm, I projected on this guy was that he earned the bronze and then earned the gold, earned 10 more merit badges, or earned 10. And just kept the bronze and on. And he kept the bronze yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. My son has a silver yeah. palm, and he likes keeping the other ones on. No, so take it off. Yeah, you it's should not, take it It's off. not proper. Yeah. You would fail your uniform inspection right. <laughs> if it was me right. doing the inspection in my <laughs> campaign hat. Yeah, right. So starting right here in 1969 through 78 was the end of the Stang. Uh -huh. I mean, the uh, Robbins Company, the Robbins Type 5. When you came in with the Stang Company wanted to replicate the Robbins Type 4, they had a flat back mm -hmm. and no BSA. <laughs> but look what they did up here. They made it pointy. See how round that is? Yeah. They made it, that's the identifying mark of the Stang scroll, is the pointy curve in the scroll. So they made those. Whoops. At least to begin with. I see that to some begin of with. further down got... So, yeah, to begin with. So they made this from 68 to 71. I don't know if it was awarded regionally or, you know, I, I don't know if, uh, how they were given the Stang 1s instead of a Stang 5. That's the fly on the wall. Mm -hmm. Stang decided, I don't know why, we're going to redesign it, put BSA back on it, make it look like the eagle's flying, make the make the uh, pendant different. Mm -hmm. So this is a Stang Award. That's a Stang, but that's a Stang 1. That's a Stang 2. The Stang 2 was from 71 to 74. Well, that's not good enough. Let's, let's change it. Hmm. We will change it, 74, to this guy right here. This is 74 to 78. Ah, very different. Way different. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. That's 74 to 78. This is 74 to 78. I need to look at mine because I was 75 was when I was. You got, you got either this one or you could have, you could have had this, you could have had this or this. I'll have to check. Yeah, if it was 75. And there may have been a carryover mm -hmm. from a, a Stang 2. Mm -hmm. So, right, did I say right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a big change right here. This is 78 to 80. This is a Stang Type 4, which has the uh, hallmark similar to the P3 up here on the, uh, the uh, Robbins Award, but it's just stir, mm -hmm. vertical Sorry. stir. This is sterling. Mm -hmm. 1980 is when the price of silver developed to beyond what the Stang Company could afford to manufacture these. And that was their period of, let's change the award. So you've got 1980 suddenly... The 1980 is right here, is the Stang Award. These are non-sterling, starting here all the way to right now to the Stang Type 7 that we have right now. Well, what we, here, we'll, we'll put these back around and I'll show you about, about dating again. It, this whole row right here 
This was this was Robin's Type 3 that went from 1933 to 1954. And you saw how I kind of dated, like these were 49 and 50. Uh, the National Council changed from New York to New Jersey, you know, whatever, because you saw it on the box, the wood grain box. The fly on the wall at the Robbins Company is the only one that knows. I'm not sure, maybe Dr. Grove knows. Mm -hmm. I don't, because I, I just rescue these things. These are from 1955 all the way to 1969. So you can go, and they all look the same pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we'll flip them over and I'll date these beyond the era of 55 to 69. This is exactly a couple months in 1955. Flat back, no hallmark. This was probably the late end of 1959 or 55. This one was also, I don't know, but it wasn't more into 1956 because they were convoluted about their hallmark. How are we going to hallmark this? We're going to use the World War II standard. Or are we going to stamp it? Are we going to have it in a box? I don't know. I don't know how, why they did that. But these are specific to 1955, 1956. This one here, when, when they finally won their battle with the engraving, we'll just do sterling just to make them happy. Can you scoot over just yeah, okay. a little bit? No, I'll take it. But also, you'll see, uh, just as an example, if they started it up again in 1962. This goes to 1962. The scroll, this scroll, um, I think has this stamped sterling on the back. It could have this, I'm not sure, I'd have to take it off. Chances are if I have them in order, this award has this hallmark. This award may have just plain sterling on it. I'm not sure. This, I'd have to look at it. This award may have this hallmark on it. I, I don't know. There is a number based on Dr. Grove's rating similar to this. Mm -hmm. It would be an S3 or an S4, S5, S6, S7 based on all the way up to S10, the scroll. It's a numbering system based on that specific hallmark. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, uh, the proper wear of the palms is not, maybe on this award, this may be, no, this one isn't right. This would just be a silver. Mm -hmm. You have a gold and a bronze. He earned the gold, I'm guessing, he earned the bronze award, then the gold merit badge mm -hmm. palm and didn't take off the bronze. That's what this is. Right. The uh, number of palms designated, or awards, merit, badge, merit badges, based on the palms that this guy has, that'd be 10, 20, 25. If you do the numbers, it would be a silver and a gold, is what he should really be wearing right here. Not two golds in, this, in a bronze. Mm -hmm. Also, in the history of palms, which started right in here, right here, 1927, that's, that's a pretty valuable little palm right there, because it has what carried over like this to the uh, jeweler's clasp, which right here is just like on a military award, the mm -hmm. uh, single pole. Right the pin on the back, the clasp. As opposed to a double as clasp. A to a, as opposed to a jeweler's clasp. Right. This is the mother's pin, or it could be even, uh, actually it's the one that's worn on the uh, uh, knot. Okay. The uh, eagle square knot, that right there. But it was within the uh, 
kit. I would say that would that would be a mother's pen, and I'm not really sure, but that's what I would do with mm -hmm. it. Give it to my my mom. <coughs> Excuse me. Very hard clasp to open and close and pen. So, like I was saying, that's a very easy year or era from 1955 to 69. Some changes, but only in the hallmarking of the scroll and the uh, pendant. Six. There's six of these Robins 4s from 1955 in this bag. Wow. I'm probably telling too much. I'm going to have to set the alarm on the house now. <laughs> well, there's six in the bag. There's one here. There's one on the board. There's one here in this. And there's also one on a mannequin at uh, a, uh, a Heritage Arsenal in Colorado Springs in a display, in a uh, military display. Well, the, uh, this was another crucial year in the heritage, uh, the heritage of scouting is where you pan down to here. This sash was likely earned by this scout right in here because of the era of that type A merit badge. And about what year was that? That again? was 1927 when the merit badge sash was first introduced. So I'm going to say that sash is exactly ish, 1927, mm -hmm. because of the green cross on the safety merit badge, or at the time was <coughs> excuse me, safety first. Safety first. Yeah. So if you go like here, that's the safety merit badge yeah. for after 1964. It's actually 1974 because camping camping and cooking weren't required at the same time from oh, 1974 to 1978. So this sash was from this like sash is in the 74 to 78 the era? mid to late 70s and because of said, this right here these have green around them instead of silver so right they weren't they weren't required. eagle required so required. Interesting. seven exactly 21 merit badges but mm -hmm. if you count the uh, silver eagle required badges, mm -hmm. you've had them all, I guess. Yeah. So let, let's get back up sure. here. <clears throat> I wasn't in it to be the fly on the wall at the Robbins factory. Somebody said, well, we got to do something about that pendant. We got to spice it up a little bit. This is probably the most collectible of the Robbins awards because of the fine engraving. That's the Robin. 2A that was only made for a couple months in 1930. Because if you pan over to here, this is the 2B, looks the same, right? Mm -hmm. But you have a transition of the engraver. See the, uh, uh, the fine engraving on the back? Yes. You can, you can go, wow, that's, that's, uh, that's an eagle. <laughs> Well, the transition was, that's the back of the Robbins Type 3. Oh, yeah. It's and they went to, for some reason, they went to taking the BSA off of the Eagle Award. Interesting. Yeah, it's, there's definitely a difference between the engraving yeah. on this one. And, and that one. one. This one yeah. really does look so, like of, if somebody was saying, hey, Jim, do you have any... A special eagle award that I would get. I, that's that's my. I have two grandsons still in scouting. Uh, hopefully, 
I'll be able to give them one of those. And that's from 1920? That's from 1930, uh, four, three, four months wow. in 1930. That uh, if I, that, that engraver gets a Nobel Prize for engraving for the Eagle Awards uh -huh. because I think that's the prettiest, the best example. And I see that uh, you've, you've flipped over a couple further down. The so the, these right here, it was kind of to show you, see the oxidation in these right here? Mm -hmm. there, there was a difference in how they wanted to produce them, I, I'm supposing. In 1933, they, they made a dark patina. And then these are kind of an example of the ribbon sheen. See the kind of the ripply, silky effect of yeah. the sheen of the ribbons? Well, this one doesn't have that. This one doesn't, does, and this one doesn't. So they, there was a combination of sheens. But also, uh, I use this right here. There's a right, if you can zoom in right there. See the sterling hallmark up on the scroll? Okay. That one has it up there. And then this one, if you can zoom right there, we need a bat signal light to see it. But mm -hmm. they put the... Uh, Every one of these awards has a scroll that's hallmarked. Mm -hmm. But then, while I was talking about the government getting involved with precious metals, mm -hmm. this was, up until, it was no big deal that this was a single award, or it was a single piece of jewelry. Somebody at Bureau of Engraving and Statistics or whatever <laughs> decided that this was a single piece and that was a separate piece. So this tail has the sterling stamp on it, oh, the hallmark. I see. And because they each have to have the sterling stamp. Yeah. On so it. if okay. you zoom in, I think you you may have a picture already. So I can date that to that period where the government wanted uh, hallmarks on each piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Speaking of jewelry, we got the eagle rings right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they did the same thing with the eagle rings by taking the BSA on and off the chest. But like right here, the overhand knot is vertical. Hmm. Well, that's the type one. The, this is the first eagle ring. Hmm. From well, you see the overhand knot on this one is horizontal. Is horizontal. And from about when was the first? These one? were in the uh, 20s and 30s. 30s. And then that one is what uh, went up until the mid-50s. Uh, I'm trying to find... Uh, where's the... That's a good one there because that one dates to between 1968 and probably... 60 and 68 that because of when the eagle required badges got the silver border mm -hmm. see cooking has a silver border on it and mm -hmm. citizenship in the nation does oh, a citizenship doing the silver border. but look at the uh, citizenship in the community no silver border oh. uh, camping doesn't have one so he earned camping before uh, before 70, before 68. Wow. So you can date these by the type of merit badges and then this uh, safety or uh, preparedness, mm -hmm. emergency preparedness, some of them had a green cross in them and there were changes in. Oh, well, this is amazing. Oh, here's a, here's one right here where from 74 to 78, Cooking and camping weren't required for Eagle. Okay. So there's a camping merit badge with a green normal Interesting. edging on it. Just from 71 to 78? 74 to 74 78. 78 huh? And there's no cooking merit badge on that sash. So this uh -huh. Eagle Scout camped, but he didn't cook very didn't much. Cook very much. <laughs> <laughs> and he